Are stocks too high? I don't know. I've got my opinions. I'm assuming you've got yours as well. We're going to take a look at a couple charts here that will help reveal the answer. We got that coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of the Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. All right, so Nobel Laureate and University of Chicago professor Eugene Fama. I'm a big fan of his. He's, um, he's probably one of the most influential and important investment minds on the planet right now and has made a huge impact on the investing world over his lifetime. Just recently was interviewed and was asked about market bubbles and was asked, um, do you think we are seeing a stock market bubble right now? And he said, listen, you can only identify a bubble in hindsight. And hindsight's always 2020. There's no way during the actual event to say we are in a bubble right now. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't believe in that. Now at the same time, I, I, I wouldn't argue, I mean, this is one of the smartest people on the planet. I wouldn't necessarily argue with that. However, there's certain clues where you can suggest, well, this is bubble type behavior. And yeah, no one knows if it's officially a bubble until after the fact, but you can at least identify the bubble-like tendencies. Well, there's a couple when people, when I talk to clients and when people ask me, hey, is the stock market too high? Is it, are we in a bubble right now? I usually point to one chart, but I'm going to share with you a second as well. This is my favorite chart right here. It's from JP Morgan, and it shows the overall forward price to earnings ratio of the S&P 500. So we've got the largest 500 stocks in the US, and of course they're all global companies, okay? And it's the forward, the projected earnings of these companies compared to the overall price of the stock. And you can see here on this chart that the 25 year average is around 16 and a half times. So the, the average is around 16 and a half times. And then if you go up one standard deviation or down one standard deviation, that is geek terms for if we're around that average, you would say stocks are fairly priced, okay? If we get below that one standard deviation, so if it gets below 13, you would say stocks are cheap. And if it gets above one standard deviation, which is so above 19 and a half, you'd say stocks are expensive, okay? So whether or not Professor Fama is uh, right and you know, we can only identify a bubble in hindsight, we can use this barometer to say stocks are fairly priced, are overpriced, or they're cheap. If you take a look at this chart, you can see that stocks were overpriced based on this metric back during the tech bubble. Fama is absolutely right because stocks were overpriced for years, for years. And he actually cited in this interview that when Alan Greenspan, Fed chairman, said there's irrational exuberance, like we are, it's not rational how high the stock market's going. He said that in 1996. When the bubble burst in 2000 and stocks fell there at the, at the time, the biggest drop since the Great Depression, the stock market never even got as low as it was in 1996 when Alan Greenspan said it was too high. So that, that's that. So again, Fama, I, you, it's hard to argue with him. But take a look now. You can see for years the stock market was extremely expensive during that bubble. Now, after the fact, we can say that was a bubble. And then, of course, we could see in 2008 and 9, stocks were cheap. Stocks were cheap, and of course that led to the longest bull market we've seen in, in um, maybe ever, right? Now, take a look at where we stand right now. And after September being not so great in the stock market, October has been fabulous thus far. This just shows through the end of September. You can see we're still up in that threatening level. Stocks are expensive based on this measure. The other thing I point out here, stocks never even got cheap. Isn't that frightening? Stocks never even got cheap in March. Now, there's a, on this chart, there's a lot of other metrics that you can look at, and I know astute uh, viewers are gonna look and say, yeah, but wait a second, these times aren't all equal. If you, look at the, um, if you look at the treasury yield right now compared to where it was at these certain points, you can see it's very different. I know, every time is unique, and yet still the pattern, I would argue, holds true. 
So this is what I normally point to to say, listen, stock market's high. It could be high for the next three, four, five, six, seven years, okay? Or the economy might grow into this market and, and the PE ratio will come down a little bit. But right now you would say stocks are high. One of the other most important investment minds on the planet is a, is a guy named Warren Buffett. You might've heard of that guy before. And he has a saying that um, when there's blood in the streets, buy real estate. So basically he's more of a contrarian when, when the herd, when everyone's rushing in one direction, you need to be very wary about also going in that direction. Check this out here. This chart, now there's a, a little busyness going on here. It shows 10 year return. So you'll see that the last bar um, was from 2010. So, so that's the latest 10 year forward uh, return period that we've got, okay? So 10 year return period only goes to 2010, but take a look at how much the average investor has in stocks. And you'll notice also the last time it was this high was in 1999, 2000. When people are this greedy, when people are this optimistic in the stock market and start putting more and more and more and more money in the stock market, that is a sign that we could be in bubble type territory. Things could be overly optimistic. Now, again, to you astute viewers, you might say, yeah, but wait a second, there's nowhere else for money to go. Interest rates are zero. And um, so though, of course, people are gonna own more stocks because that's the most attractive investment. I know, but that creates more risk. It creates more risk, especially when interest rates are zero and there's so much borrowing going on and there's extra leverage. All of that equates to more risk. So is the stock market high? These are just a couple charts that to me suggest absolutely. The follow-up question then is, well, does that mean that it's gonna drop? That question, I don't know. I don't know that answer. It, it, just like Alan Greenspan said in 1996, there's irrational exuberance, this doesn't make sense. And the stock market kept on going for four more years before it dropped. And once again, when it dropped at its low point, it never got down as low as where the market was when Alan Greenspan said those famous words. Is the stock market high right now? I would debate anyone on that topic. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. These charts and several others support that. Will it continue to stay high? I think that's also very, very possible. Yet, we're in a higher risk environment. So once again, work with your certified financial planner. Make sure, I would, I would stress today, make sure you're not making investment decisions based on emotion only. Because if you're looking at, if you're just doing that, that's gonna lure you into the market, that's gonna lure you into taking more risk or lure you into taking less risk than you actually should for your overall financial plan. So we've got momentum strategies, we've got indexing strategies, make sure you're working with the CFP who's offering those sorts of things that all fit within your, cert, your overall comprehensive financial plan. If you don't have a CFP or would like a second opinion, you can always reach out to us. Find us online, wisemoneyshow.com or corhorn.com. That's corhorn with a K. You can also send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.